Hi, I'm Kevin Waddle alongside of Steve Mench. Welcome back for another edition of the NFL Draft Blitz. Steve, we got the first round right around the bend. Every time at this point of the year, we always hear t prospects that are kind of sliding down boards. Give me a prospect that's sliding down your board right now. Well, I'm interested to see where Ohio State corner Bradley Roby goes. When you watch his tape, he's fluid. He's got the potential to be a playmaker at the NFL level. Goes to the combine, checks all the boxes, elevates well, runs well. He may arguably be the most talented corner in this draft. Agreed. But the concern is discipline, both on the field and off the field. When you look at on the field, his, his eye discipline is erratic. He gets caught out of position at times. Off the field, he got arrested before the 2013 season, suspended, did not learn his lesson. Another arrest following the season leading up to the draft. You're now concerned about whether or not this is a pattern of behavior and what kind of person you're going to get when he comes into your building. And, and I just I don't know how far he's going to slide, but I can tell you this. I don't think he's going to go as early as he would have gone if he didn't have these issues. Accountability. It always comes back to that, I think, with these prospects. What, what, how accountable these players can be for a team. To me, I'm going to go with Florida State. You're looking at the big wide receiver, Calvin Benjamin, at 6'5", 240 pounds. This guy's an absolute thoroughbred. And I think going back into the fall season, back in the fall in the regular season, you're talking about a guy potentially mid to late first round pick. I think you're a guy after studying his film in terms of getting out of his breaks, I have concerns, uh, the inconsistency catching the football. And now there's, in terms of accountability, we talked about Roby, I think there's some red flags in terms of character with Benjamin. So now I think potentially you're talking about a guy that still can potentially be there on Friday late in that second round. So I think he's a guy that's certainly sliding some boards, just talking with people in the league, just concerns about accountability. Will this guy be there? And is he able to handle the grind mentally? Yeah, and I think you, you make a good point about the tape as well. If you're a big-bodied receiver and you're going to box guys out and you're going to make plays in traffic, you better catch the ball consistently. And that's a big yep. concern for me. He doesn't Absolutely. do that. He, does, he can make fantastic, spectacular catches, but he doesn't always make the routine play. And you need to do that to succeed in the NFL if you're going to be that big and not really separate as well as a smaller receiver. And on top of that, the depth of this wide receiver class isn't going to help him at all either. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Make sure you check first uh, coverage of the first round on Thursday night ESPN at 8 o'clock Eastern Time.